Hey, it's Grady at Twin Creek Audio, and today I want to show you three low-cost vintage analog studio mixers. All three of these mixers are here in my collection. They all three have eight channels with eight taper turns, and all were made in Japan in the 1980s. Incidentally, all three of the mixers I'm going to show you in this video have minus 10 levels on mostly RCA connections, so they're perfect for something like a Tascam 38 or a Fostex R8, like the one I've shown in some of my videos. But starting out with, we have the Yamaha Model RM804 recording mixer. This is a great sounding little mixer. I like the preamps in particular on drums. This mixer does not have phantom power, so when I've used it to record drums in the past, I've used this for the dynamic mics and then used an outboard preamp for the things that needed condenser mics like cymbals and hi-hat. But this is a great, very warm sounding mixer. The stereo down here, this is like the taper turn mix, like your separate monitor mix. I find this stereo mix on this mixer to be kind of noisy. But if you're recording through this and using the direct outputs on the channels, it's not noisy at all. It actually sounds really, really good. And it is flexible. It's got four buses. There is no stereo bus, so to speak. You've got this separate stereo mix here. So it's a little bit strange. But let me zoom in a little bit and I'll show you kind of the details of this thing. But remember, there are three other videos on this channel about this mixer that have a lot more details, including scans of the original manual here that I have. So one of the videos has the full scans of this manual, which is very useful to have. This mixer is a little bit confusing to operate, so definitely get a copy of the manual. If you wanna get that from my video, that's fine with me. Go over there at the end of that video, I put full scans of the manual for this mixer. So this one's fully working. I've tested it in some of the other videos, but I'm gonna give you a little bit of a rundown on what's on the front of this, and the meters are lit up on this. I'll turn the lights off in a minute so you can see those, because they're really pretty and it's a really cool looking mixer. But from the top of the channel strips, we've got the routing switches, then we have the pan control for the main channel, then you have an input button that allows you to choose either the mic line or tape, which means you can bring your tape return back down the main channel. So if you wanted to mix or sum through this little mixer, you could do that pretty easily by pressing these buttons. Then you've got a rudimentary EQ, but it is a three band EQ. You've got one echo send, then the stereo pan and the stereo knobs here, these are like another separate submixer. They're meant to be like your tape monitor mix. So you can play back your tracks from tape and have an independent mix while you're recording things through the main channels. That's the way this mixer was designed to work. So over here you've got your program, masters, echo send master, echo returns, the monitor controller, which is also a cool feature. For a bedroom studio if you just needed something to run your audio interface through and this has a set of monitor outs and a knob here to control that and then of course the source buttons for the returns or actually where you're going to send these returns and what you're listening to on the monitor and stereo master and of course your eight main faders and a headphone jack this is the back panel of the yamaha rm804 it's a little dusty back here at the top, you've got the insert points. you got out and in. These little jumpers need to be there or the channels won't work. Then you've got a direct output and a line input and then your mic or line XLR input right here. Here you've got sub out one through four, program out one through four, a stereo out, a two track in. Then you've got echo send, stereo echo return, monitor out power switch and an attached power cable. So the power supply is internal on this little mixer. See those big, beautiful VU meters glow? This is a really good sounding mixer. It's very warm sounding and it looks really cool too. It's like a miniature vintage studio console. I love it. This is the second mixer I wanted to show you in this video. This one's a little harder to film because it's pretty heavy. So it's leaning against the wall here. It's a little harder to film. But this is the Tascam M35. Again, I've made several other videos about this console and using this console. So make sure to check out those other videos if you have more interest in the Tascam M35. This is an 8-channel, 
recording console or recording mixer with eight main channels, eight tape return channels. This has transformer balanced mic preamps and it has two band EQ with two different frequencies or two different center frequencies that can be swept with the bottom of this dual concentric pot and then the cut and boost is the top. This has two sends instead of just the one on the RM804. It is a split design where your tape return and monitor channels are over there instead of integrated into the main channels. This is a fully modular board, including the power supply, which is actually this module down here. Most of the connections on the Tascam M35 here are minus 10 line levels, and they are again on RCA jacks, making this a really good choice to connect to something like a Tascam 38 or a Fostex R8 or you know any kind of small analog tape machine. You can also connect it to your audio interface, just make sure you use the correct cables and set your audio interface levels to minus 10 to match this mixer. This is a great front end, does not have phantom power, but you can always use an external unit to use the transformer balanced mic preamps in the Tascam M35. It's a really cool mixer, it's got big VU meters, and you know, it's just a cool, cool one. Mine's missing a fader. Just a quick overview of this, and again, watch my other videos about the M35 for a little more detail, but you've got the mic preamp and line section up here. You've got a mic attenuation switch, the trim control for the mic line gain, you've got the switch that's uh, choosing what goes through the channel, mic tape or line. You've got two auxiliary sends, one labeled Q, one labeled effects. And two band EQ, these have two different switchable center frequencies, which you can then vary with the bottom collar on this dual concentric control here. The routing matrix that also has solo, the direct switch, which is necessary to press if you want the direct output to be active, the routing switches for the four buses, pan control, main fader. Over here is the tape return section, the tape monitor section. So you've got tape return levels for each of the tape tracks and then a pan control. You've got some other switches there. Make sure to check out the other video again for more detail because these can be fed by the tape returns or the buses. Then you've got, of course, the tape cue, which is an auxiliary send for this tape section. Then you've got effects input levels and then I guess where they go. I don't remember. I'd have to go back to my other video. The four subgroup faders, the main fader, control room, headphone, solo level, all that good stuff. It's a great vintage mixer for a home studio. This thing is a little bit chunkier than the other ones. It's, it's much heavier than the Yamaha RM804, but you know, it's fully modular and has really good sounding transformer balanced mic preamps. So these are a little bit more expensive on the used market than the Yamaha RM804 or the next mixer that I'm going to show you. But it's well worth it for the build quality and modularity and the transformer balance mic preamps. Here's the third mixer I wanted to show you in this video. This is the Fostex Model 450. I apologize for the lighting in here and I'm using camera mic right now because this isn't in my normal studio. This is in a spare bedroom studio where I have it set up with the Fostex R8 quarter inch eight track analog machine. So this is the Fostex model 450. This probably has the most features of any of the three that I'm showing in this video. And these also sell for the lowest price of any of the three. So this is the top panel of the Fostex model 450. This is an eight channel four bus mixer. This has an inline design. Your AUX2 is also your tape returns, but it doubles as a second AUX send when you're doing your mix down back through the channels. Again, I've made several other videos about this mixer that explain in depth a lot about this mixer, how it works and how it sounds. So make sure to check out those videos. I will note that this is the only one on the list that has phantom power. It has individually switchable phantom power here for each of the mic channels. It also has three band EQ with both the high mid and the low mid being a sweepable frequency with 15 dB worth of booster cut. This is a very nice full featured small eight channel mixer. It's probably got the best feature set and sells for the best price on the used market of any of the three in this video. 
So make sure to check out the other videos on the Fostex Model 450 if you're interested in one of these little mixers. It also has two headphone outputs on the front of the mixer, which is a really cool feature, very useful. I really like this little thing. All three of these are very useful tools for your home studio, and all three of them are pretty inexpensive to find on the used market. Make sure to check out the other videos about each of these three mixers that I featured in this video. I'll put links to those videos in the video description. Also make sure to like this video and subscribe to the Twin Creek Audio YouTube channel if you have not done so already. I really appreciate everyone that watches my videos. Thanks so much to all the new subscribers. The channel keeps growing every day. I really appreciate all of you. I hope each and every one of you out there has an excellent day, night, evening, weekend, weekday, hour, minute, second, nanosecond, whatever it is you're having. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.